Hello, nerd forians, and welcome to part two of our special fringe rehashing episodes. Fringe Foria! Okay, uh, season two. Season one was really good, um, introduction to the characters, to the kinds of things that were hap that are happening the pattern um the ZFT is in the the group pattern cases was related to a group known as ZFT who were trying to build an army as in some of the pattern cases were just things that went wrong with them trying to create their soldiers Season 2 kicks off with Olivia getting thrown through the windshield of her car after it had been stopped in, tra stopped in traffic for over an hour with no one inside. William Bell had having pulled her into the other universe from inside her car, causing that dilemma. For momentum can be deferred, but it must be paid back in full. So says William Bell in the episode Momentum Deferred, which is a few episodes in, but it's also the entire gist of season two. More or less, uh, Olivia finds herself in the hospital, and people are wanting to kill her for whatever information she may have but she doesn't remember her visit to the other side at all and they decide to try to kill her anyway which doesn't work but we do find out in this episode that the new the new group of soldiers for this war between the universes is our shapeshifters and they can change their appearance in order to get close to the people that they are trying to impede or kill in this case very shocking conclusion in the first episode shows Charlie Francis body getting thrown in an incinerator while the shapeshifter has taken on his form. Olivia and the rest of the fringe team do not realize that Charlie is an imposter. That the real Charlie is God rest his soul somewhere different. Um so we learned in season one that there are two universes. We also learned in season two, season one, that Olivia was experimented on with a drug called cortexafan by Walter Bishop and William Bell. Um, we also learned that Peter almost died when he was a boy for getting pulled from the ice. Within season two, we find Peter more accepting of Walter as his father. We get Peter calling him dad, even. Um, we get Walter, and we realize the lengths that Walter will take to protect his son, as evidenced in the episode where some a viral outbreak kills a number of people within a building. Olivia and Peter become quarantined within said building. Peter becomes infected. Peter bangs on the door, begs them to let him out. It's the virus itself talking. Walter needs to figure out a way to get in there to save his son. Um, we, f we get a an Olivia that's a little more emotional. A little less reserved. Um, 
it's not 100% obvious, but you can tell she's getting a little more comfortable around Peter. Um, it's Sam Weiss, the man that runs the bowling alley, who Nina Sharp told Olivia she needs to see in order to get better. He knows a lot about the other side and a number of other things that you wouldn't think he would know about being what he apparently is. Um, we don't see him too much once Olivia is actually able to like walk normal again, but after her accident, but he is important later on, as we shall see. That's what's beautiful about this show, because everything in Season 1 led up to Season 2. Everything in Season 2 leads up to Season 3. Everything in the first two seasons... Everything in all of those seasons leads into what is Season 4. And what happens in Season 1... is probably going to pay, play a really big part in what happens next in Season 5. But, let's wait till we get to that part. Um, find Peter realizing that he's not from here. He's from the other side. Um, get a really confusing villain in Newton because He's in charge of the shape shifters and everything, but he still thinks that he's not on the wrong side of this. And Olivia and the team are still coming to terms with whether or not there even are sides to this. Um, cause, but we do find out that it is Walter's fault that all of the bad things are happening in the other universe because he opened a door we learn that Walter Walter's son died and he created a window to look into the other universe and what he saw was hit the other Walter, Walternet, constructing a cure for Peter's illness. Walter sees within the window what Walternet does wrong to make it not work, and he does what he can to build a actual portal to the other side so he can save Peter. Every intention of going back, even though he is selfish about his son. Um, he turns out not being able to send Peter back because if he opens the door again, that may be the end. But that's also why Peter, no, why Walter and Belle did the Cortexafan trials to figure out another way to cross over without opening that door. Um, it's quite heavy stuff, I know. Um, the observer, who is not supposed to interfere, pulls Peter and Walter out of the ice, saves their lives, but tells the obser other observers that he has made a mistake and his only task is to make sure that Peter does not get to the other side again but he does and gets taken over by his real father Walternet in the episode Northwest Passage which is episode 220, I believe. Um, season 2 marks the first like special episode 19, dearly. Although, no, the, the creators say that episode 19 always does something different that none of the other episodes in the season do. 
Um, so it did exist in season one, just a lot more subtly. It was a normal episode, but it was the first episode where they really talked about the other universe. Um, episode 19 in this season is Brown Betty, which is a really fun uh, noir kind of version of Friends. And it does involve singing, which I like. I like hearing Astrid sing, because it's fun. Um, I'd say that Peter is really what keeps the show together, though, because all of the main stories revolve around either him or him and Olivia in some way. Um, okay, so what happens in the finale of season two? They cross over with the help of the Protexa fan kids because... Olivia has the key to get to the other side, and her ability is heightened enough in presence of other of others of the Cortex fan children. So Nick Nick Lane, and who appeared in season one um, in the Bad Dreams episode, um, uh, pyrokinetic. Uh, man who can heal can heal or kill with the touch um and but it turns out that when they get to the other side that the other cortex fan children cannot withstand the environment for some reason which causes most of them to die really quickly um what happens in the other universe is that we see Charlie Francis because he's on the other fringe team in the other universe and he did not die. Um, Astrid, who is a lot different, a lot less sociable, a lot more reserved um, as far as that goes, but a lot smarter crazy about numbers and such. Um, have other Olivia, who's a little less reserved, a little more personable, a little more friendly. Um, you get Lincoln Lee, who we have yet to see on the other side, but who the story hints at Maybe Nick Lane's brother. Weird. Um, then Colonel Broyles, of course. Um, Walter Nitt, who's not just part of the fringe team in the other universe, he's in charge of it. He's the Secretary of Defense. And he's stationed at the Statue of Liberty because what happened was. The Pentagon was actually was destroyed during 9/11 in the other universe. Weird, but very amazing how you can craft such a world with so little difference. Like even the smallest, tiniest variation creates an entirely new probability, entirely new continuum. It's great. Um, we learn about some kind of machine that Peter is to be supposedly the only one who can power. A machine which can cause the end of the world. Um, Bell uses something similar to that machine at the end of the episode for the team to cross back over with Peter in tow. But it turns out that somehow the Olivia's got switched and the very final scene of season two shows Olivia in a cell being watched by Walter Nitt, banging on the door, begging to get out. Olivia looking scared. And when Olivia is scared, don't her powers work better? That's usually what happens. But the fact that we can see Olivia scared at all in this season shows 
just how more deep her relationships with Peter and Walter and any of the others have come, become. Um, and then we get to my favorite season after this, season three. Um, but I'll be back to talk about that soon. Um, favorite fringe moments, favorite characters, favorite storylines, things you wish would have happened. Um, ideas for other parallel universes in Fringe. I'd love to hear about them. Um, uh, have a good day, okay? See ya.